Hi, welcome back. This is Azure 70-5T3 Infrastructure Data Services. This is our video number three in which we are going to cover how to create a web app and what is a deployment slot and what is a staging slot. So as uh, you are logged into the portal, you will see either you can click here, create a resource and it will launch the marketplace on Azure. You can type in here web app will give you an option to create a web app here you can select web app from here and then you can click create it'll do the thing at the back end it'll give you an option to type in the name the subscription the resource group and the location and the app service plan and the application insights or if you want to do it from the another way what you can do is you can do you can click here click on all resources here click on add you can click on web app you'll get this option either way can be selected and when you come on the screen you can give it any name let's say test web app see domain configures the domain uh, the name when it will be unique so anybody in this world may be using the test web app name that is why it is not available you can say test web app 1 it is also not available so I'm going to use my login id so test web app it is available so any name you can do it but so if you have multiple subscriptions under your login id you will get the top down list here or we only have one so we'll get this option as KIP go we'll select it resource group see resource group is a collection of resources that shares the same life cycle permission and policies let's say I create a resource group a search test where by default it gives you the same name but what you can do is test RG you can give it a capsule search test RG so this is my resource group in which I will keep all the resources let's say I have a project uh, which is uh, my web app project number one I want to make sure that all of the resources associated with that project are in the same resource group so it will be easier for me to locate them to place them in a specific location in the cloud and under one resource group so right? manageability can be better so I will select Windows you can select Linux as well we will discuss why in which scenarios we will select the Linux let's say I select Windows so the app service plan so the app service plan is the container for your app the app service plan settings will determine the location features cost and compute resources associated with your app let's say this is the web app single web app let's say there are multiple projects within a project and you need multiple web apps so what you can do with do it you can either have an app service plan select the pricing tier for that app service plan how much compute resources will you use how much resources what are the location and the other things associated with the app service plan when you will select the pricing tier for an app service plan all of the apps under that app service plan would share those resources okay so let's say we select uh, and let's say we create a new app service plan we gave it select the location as uh, central India my pricing tier so this this is the thing I was talking about either you can select it for a specific web app or you can have multiple web apps in an app service plan which I these are the option available depends upon the pricing and the requirement see these are the pricing let's say I go for this is the D1 share. This is the basic. Let's say I go for S1. It is the estimated cost. So see what you're getting. You're getting 50 GB of storage, one core, 1.75 GB RAM. You can have custom domain SSL. I'll show you. You can have up to 10 instances in the auto scale. We will discuss what auto scale is. Backup, five slots. 
you can have five slots, scaling slots for this other app, you can create traffic manager. We'll discuss traffic manager under the networking section. So let's say you select the app service plan, you click on select, you click on OK, on thing you click on create. In the back end, it takes these options and it validates how it is validating it. I'll pause the video when it comes up, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back and see it shows the deployment in progress. As soon as it is done, I have will have my web app in this resource group under the app service plan. It may take few minutes and it depends upon uh, the backend what which location you have selected, what what is the size of the web app that you have selected. We have selected S1. So let me just pause it. As soon as it gets complete, I'll be back. Okay, so as soon as it is done, it'll give you an option to go to resource. Deployment is succeeded. I click on go to resource. And it will take me to that web app that we created. Okay, here it is. I have my web app, which is Assert Test Web App. In the overview section, it's in Canada, Central India. My resource group is Assert Test RG. My app service plan is this. And the default name that I get is Assert Test Web App. Azure Websites. .net. This is the default domain name that Microsoft Microsoft gives you. It is a blank web app. There is no deployment being done. There is no code uploaded on this web app. It is just a normal blank website that it is up and running. It uh, shows you that you have to go to Quick Start Guide in the Azure portal to get started or read our deployment documentation. So this is the coding part. So in this section, we just covered how do we create a web app, how do we select the app service plan, what is the resource group. In next video, I'll show you the staging slots and how you configure the custom domain, the SSL. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.